A young man that they say could not be nothing. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. We need to understand that we are a part of something bigger than who we are. It's amazing what God can do. Should be one foundation. Welcome to a life-changing experience with Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Evangelist Jerry Thompson has a sincere compassion and love for winning souls. The need to go back and reach others has become a passion for Jerry Thompson. He illustrates his gratefulness towards God through the gift of writing and singing that the Lord has blessed him with. May you enjoy the music ministry of Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Welcome to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. This is yours truly, Reverend Jerry Thompson. Remember, Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is a ministry where a nobody becomes a somebody. Uh, today I will be sharing with you a message of my, my disability. I remember being invited to sing in Orlando, Florida to the hearing impaired and I thought to myself that this must be a joke. As I spoke to the gentleman a little further I realized that he was serious that he wanted me to come to sing to about 500 folks that had different disabilities. And in going there and as I went on the stage and actually started to sing and as I saw the tears fell, and I saw the heads went down, and in finishing the song, seeing how they applauded and they moved their fingers, I said, Lord, for the first time I feel that I'm the one that's disabled. I'm the one that do not understand the environment that I'm in. I also remember going to Jamaica at Mandeville University in Mandeville and Professor Thompson invited me there and I remember going to that particular place and as he introduced me to several other folks that had various types of disabilities one man that really really got my attention he was a drummer but he had no arms and as I went over and greeted and shook hands with everyone it came to this man that had no arms and as I reached over him to say hello he put his feet up and <laughs> I was a little bit startled I sort of dressed back but then I realized that those were his hands so there are hands that are actually feet there are many many parts to a human body that can be used depending on your ability so I no longer look at the word disability as anything else other than what it is your ability that God has given you whether you have arms or legs whether you have eyes to see whether you have ears to hear sometimes we are the ones that are disabled so when you see another person going down the road I remember specifically seeing a 19 year old young man riding his bicycle and he had a big tank on his back and on that tank there was a hose that led to his nostrils and when I saw him happy oh my god he was riding his bicycle happily going along about his business and the light caught me and as I wait there and saw this young man going across I thought to myself that's oxygen to his brain he has a tank and I thought to myself what if the what if the oxygen ran out what if one day he he read it wrong what if one day the 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 the, the, the mechanism that 
shows you how much air is in the tank does not work I just simply came out of the car and I shook my hands and moved my feet and I said thank you God forgive me God for me complaining about how I don't feel well how how things aren't right in my life how messed up things are for me because you know what when you think you're messed up there's somebody worse than you but their worst is actually better than yours because they don't see an issue with carrying a tank on his back this man that played the drums with his feet with no arm didn't see it as a disability but he saw him having the ability to do things in spite of so when God blesses you please think on these things think on the gifts that God has given you and as you reflect on those gifts I'm gonna pray and the prayer that I'll be praying will be for you to say Lord I want to thank you because all this time I've been thinking that I am disabled there might be somebody out there who can't read who can't write who can't spell and you're thinking oh my god I'm ashamed there might be someone out there that is experiencing the problem that they are they can't never have a, an experience to drive a car because they are confined to a wheelchair whatever the situation is whatever it is that you believe is your illness please look at the positive side of things you're now viewing this telecast or you're now hearing the program God is giving you abilities apart from that which is considered normal because who is normal everybody's got some kind of disability so embrace who God made you to be be proud be happy let your spirit soar like the eagle feel touch taste smell recognize that you are God's creation that God gives many gifts to many people and out of many we are one because there's one God one destiny one life one earth let's love one another and as I pray right now I'm praying that God will give you healing in your mind so that you may not use whatever it is that you believe is causing you to be disabled that you may not take that to be a crutch as to why you can't do things I've seen people without legs or arms swim I've seen people that have all types of disabilities step over the boundary of I dare to try but I truly believe it's better to try and fail than fail to try let your faith in God allow you to go the extra mile to lift up your head and say Lord in spite of I'm gonna allow God to let God and let go have faith Word of God tells us that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you shall say mountain be thou removed and it shall be done God also said the cattle upon many mountain belongs to him and if the cattle and the land belongs to him so are you so much better than they praise God wherever you can have faith in God and in having faith in God you will learn to have faith in yourself the Word of God tells us to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you have you chosen to seek God lately I always say to you folks ladies and gentlemen it is better to light a candle than to curse the darkness let Jesus Christ be that candle that is lit cause a spark in your life please I'm gonna pray for you right now each and every last person that's out there I want you to know something there is ministry in you there is life in you there is hope 
in you. Trust God. Believe in God. Believe in the fact that he came and he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him, that's me, that's you, shall not perish. But you too shall, can, and will have everlasting life. He said if you just believe. And to believe you must first receive the word. Because if you don't hear the word, how can you then believe? But when you study and you hear the word of God and you open up your heart, that heart that is of stone right now, I ask that you may pray to God that you may receive the heart of flesh and blood. That means remove the clutter, remove the hate, remove the doubt, remove the fear. So many of us are afraid of the unknown. I was just like you. I was afraid of the unknown. I didn't want to try because I was afraid of being ashamed. You need not to be ashamed when you want to serve God. Because he said he will take you just as you are without one plea. That means if you are a liar, if you're a thief, if you're a murderer, if you're a backbiter, if you're a backslider, whatever it is that you are, God says, come, I will receive you. Because take that first step of faith. Faith, faith, faith. Just a little bit of faith. You don't need a whole lot. Just use what you got. Let God let go i see there are many out there all over the world viewing this telecast there's so many of you that's watching this telecast right now and before i pray i want you to call that number on that screen 647-692-7793 or log on to visionoftruth.com it's up to you now if you want us to pray with you if you want us to hold your hand along the way and you might ask, how are you going to do that, Reverend Thompson? All you have to do is put your hand on the screen. I'm going to pray right now. Put your hand on that screen. I want you to call that number to tell me that you took that step of faith. Call that number as I pray. Father God, most righteous and eternal Father, I pray, Lord God, by the power that you invest in me that... For each and every one out there, Lord God, that has experienced the love of God in their hearts, that has listened to this message and taken that step of faith to touch the telecast right now, to touch their TV screen as a point of contact. I pray right now, Lord God, by the Holy Spirit of God in me, I pray now that whatever is bound in heaven, that it may be bound on earth. Remove it from them. And whatever is loose in heaven, that you may loosen the anointing of the Holy Spirit in their life. Take away the crosses. Take away the wrongdoing. Take away the, the wrong thought. And replace it with love, joy, gentleness, meekness, temperance, long-suffering. Father, I want to thank you for each and every one that has made that decision. We love you here at Vision of Truth. Your disability becomes your ability to recognize that there is hope for the hopeless and there is love in everyone freely given may god bless you may the holy spirit be with you and remember you first saw this at vision of truth outreach ministry yes ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is so wonderful to see that we're still serving the same god of yesterday today and forever please support this ministry right now by calling this number on the screen and ordering your cd by evangelist jerry thompson please call now and support this ministry and help us get guns off the street That's it. Oh. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. Many of you are wondering what reggae gospel sounds like. I know y'all know about Bob Marley. We'll be coming up with some Bob Marley music later on. Because he lives. Here we go. Hallelujah. Gone. Because he lives. 
My life is worth the living just because he lives. Oh, hallelujah.
spend my life Go with me Precious Lord Linger near When my time Is almost Almost gone Oh Lord Oh Lord Hear my cry Hear my call Precious Lord Least I fall Praise God, hallelujah. You're doing it the Caribbean way. I know that y'all don't understand, but from time to time, I want you to call your friends and tell them it's not Bob Marley, but it's reggae gospel. And that's Reverend Jerry Thompson, yours truly, coming live from Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. Save the rich like me. Oh, hallelujah. Since I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, how marvelous, how marvelous is that grace that gave me liberty. Yes, I see. He looked me on all of my faults, and he saw my knees. Oh yes, he did. He looked beyond my faults and saw my knees. Yeah, he, he looked beyond all of my faults. And he saw my knees. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. How marvelous. Marvelous is that grace. Mm, that lovely grace. Yeah, he, he looked beyond. All of my faults, he saw my need. Mm. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning into the telecast. I want you to get on that channel right now. I want you to get to your phone and just call 647-692-7793. Oh, Lord, he gave me. Mother, a mother loves is a grace that gave me the victory. Yes, I see. He looked me on all of my faults and he saw my name. He looked me on all my faults. Yes. I see a lot of you out there just enjoying this broadcast. If you're enjoying the broadcast, please just log on to visionofchew.com. If you've not heard my testimony of why I put the gun down, you need to uh, just go on to visionofchewtv.com. That's my TV YouTube channel. Just subscribe there on visionofchewtv.com and you'll hear my testimony of why I picked the gun up, why I put the gun down. I had only two minutes, two minutes to live because a man came to take my life. And when my friend, he missed me by two minutes. And you need to log on and get that story, visionoftruthtv.com and hear the story, why I put the gun down. But more importantly, why I picked it up in the first place. I want to tell you, you don't want to miss that because you're going to find out that gunmen are not born, they're made. And you can only acquire that by listening to my testimony as to why I put the gun down. Subscribe to visionoftruthtv.com. That's my TV station that's on YouTube. Subscribe right there. Also, for those who've listened to these songs that I've written, um, try on, it's amazing. Um, it's amazing what God can do. Glad to be home again, oh my gosh. I'm so glad that God saves sinners. I'm so glad that God takes people like me that are broken and he puts you back together and give you the umption in your gumption to make you function. I'm so happy to be born again, folks. Trust me, it's just the joy to serve the Lord and to sing and to know that he's blessed me so much that he can allow me to reach you and touch your hearts. 
praise God. So if you like the songs that you've heard, please have me come into your community to sing at your concert. It's not about money. Honestly, you look after my plane fare and accommodations, whatever God says to bless me with, you bless me with. Let God speak to you. Because oftentimes, sometimes it's more than what I'll even charge you. And that's what I said, God, you're so awesome. You're looking after my finance and you're allowing me to reach the lost at any cost. So please call me at that number, 647-692-7793. Also, I want you to know if you want me to come and do workshops, motivational seminars, crime and drug prevention workshops, visiting the prisons, speaking to young people in doing workshops in your community. I work with youth gangs, Eminem, NBC, Crew, uh, Shanghai, Crips, Bloods, Jamaican Posse, uh, Triads, you name them. God has allowed me to go in there and reach them and work with them and pray for them and see them through and point them to the way of the cross. Without the cross, life is crosses. But with the cross, through the cross, by the cross, we are born again, saved and sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized, and Jesus on our mind, and we're running for our lives. Please, call that number. But what better gift to give your family than the gospel of Jesus Christ to change their lives? But if you've done this already, I ask you to still participate by means of allowing Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry, yours truly, to sell your property for you. You're hearing correctly. Any property that you have for sale anywhere in the world, we have over 160 countries that we have agents that will sell your property. Also, if you want to purchase property, we will help you to purchase those properties. Also, you're helping this ministry to get guns off the street. Guns, when you get guns off the street, Remember the saying, help them now or fear them later. So by giving us your business, you're preventing that from happening. And what do they say? Prevention is better than cure. Please call that number now or just simply uh, email me at jerrysgospel at msn.com and say, Reverend Thompson, I want to participate. I want to help getting guns off the street. I can't go out there and talk to them the way you do because you've been there. So the proofs, oftentimes the people who can make the biggest difference or somebody who's been through it. Call now, 647-692-7793. And last but not least, please also go on iTunes and get my, pro, my, my CDs. They're only 99 cents. Or Spotify. Also, you can get them right on there. Or go online where you can order online at visionoftruth.com. That's visionoftruth.com. That's my website where you can go and order through PayPal and uh, Amazon. Uh, you can get my stuff. Sometimes in life it may seem that you are alone, but you're not alone. God is with you. Vision of Truth Outreach Ministries, where a nobody can become a somebody. Why? Because I was you, but with a difference. I got involved in drugs and crime and on my way to take a man's life, but I'm one of the stories that turned out good. And I got many stories like mine to bring to you each and every week from around the world. Remember, man's reject is God's project. And who God hires, no man fire. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing.